everyone welcome to my channel my name is Atisha in the introductory video of the vision OS series we discussed how in vision pro we can see multiple windows at the same time and those windows could belong to the same application or we can also see multiple windows from different apps as well in this video of the vision OS series we are going to learn how to create multiple 2d windows in our vision OS app which is going to look something like this so here you can see that we have two buttons and when we click on open first window a new window gets opened similarly if we click on this open second window the second window gets opened so let's jump onto Xcode and see how we can create multiple 2d windows in our vision OS app so I've already created a new vision OS project and named it vision OS multiple windows and this is the boilerplate code that we have now for this particular project we first create a new file let's call it main window view which will have two buttons uh, on the click of which will be opening up new windows so this will act as the main entry point of our vision os app so we'll go to this vision os multiple window app file where we define the app structure and instead of this content view we will write this main window view now right now in our Vision OS app, we only have a single window as you can see in the preview. In order to have multiple windows, we have to define that many window group scenes in our body. So we'll define two more window group scenes. One will show a view, let's call it first window view. And there will be another one, which will be called a second window view. Let's create uh, the files for these respective views as well. So we'll create two new files first window view and also another one second window view now let's make modification to our main window view so that we can show two buttons so we'll first create a vstack and within it i'll have a text which says multiple windows in vision os app and also we'll give it a font of large title apart from that we will create two buttons uh, let's call the first one as open first window the action that we want this button to perform will specify later and similarly we'll create another one where instead of first we'll replace this with second now for opening up a new window we will use the open window environment action which open ups a window for a given environment so for defining that we'll use environment and here we'll specify the action and let's create a private var for it and call it open window so inside this button we will use this open window okay but if we simply write open window, how will this open window action instance gets to know which window it needs to open? So here comes the role of the identifier. So whenever we define a window group, we also have to pass in an identifier so that our open window action instance can uniquely identify which window it needs to open and shows that one. Let's give identifier to these two window groups that we have created. Let's call the first one as first window and the second identifier as the second window then we need to pass them respectively in our open window action instance as well so let's pass this one over here this one we will pass second window okay looks good so far now before testing it let's make modification to our two views that we have created first window view and second window view so that we can distinctively see them so for that we will write a simple text hi I am first window and we'll give it a font of extra large title and also give it a foreground style uh, so we'll change its color to green similarly we'll go to the second window view and change its text to second window view and let's change its color to orange okay so this looks good now let's run this on the simulator and see if it's working properly it was throwing some error because i wrote the wrong name for window in these two files so i have corrected that now and this is how my app looks like so you can see we have two buttons and when we click on this open first window 
this window gets open and on the click of this uh, second window this second window gets open now if, if in case this is not working fine for you then what you need to do is you have to go to this info.playlist file and within this application scene manifest you have to enable multiple window as yes if it is set as no that will enable you to open multiple windows at the same time in your vision os app one thing that we can notice over here is these windows by default are very big so we also have the option to specify a size for these windows so for doing that we can give a default size modifier to our window group and uh, we can specify the width and the height over here so let's give this first one a width of 300 and a height of 300 similarly for the second window we'll specify a width of 200 and a height of 200 now let's run this and see how it is appearing now when we click on this open first window you can see a smaller window is appearing though we have the option to resize them now so we can resize them as per our requirement. We can close these windows by clicking on this close icon present over here. We also have the option to close them programmatically using the dismiss window environment action. Uh, let's go to the first window view and here I'll create a button to close that particular window. So let me wrap this up in a VStack. So along with this text, I'm also going to have a button which will say close first window and inside this uh, we'll have to first specify that environment action instance so it is called as dismiss window and we'll create a private var for it which we'll call as dismiss window now inside this button i will call this dismiss window and i have to pass the identifier of the window that i want to close so obviously it is going to be the first window Make sure that you are using the correct name of the identifier that you have specified over here. And let's run this and see if our button is functional or not. Okay, so let's quickly open the first window and resize it. So you can see we have a button which is named as close first window. If I click on it, you can see our first window is closed. So this is how you can make use of the dismiss window and the open window environment values in order to close and open new windows. That's majorly it about this video. I hope you enjoyed learning it. And now you can easily create multiple windows in your Vision OS app. In the next video of the series, we will learn how to add static 3D models in our windows within our Vision OS app using Reality Kit and Swift UI. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future.